All right, welcome to Backstage Pass, the Age Bash on the Age 2015. A very big day for us last year, and uh, we're planning on having a super day as well today. Today, behind us, we've got the Friesland Mafia, otherwise known, <laughs> otherwise known as Peter Winning's Fan Club and Friends. And what they've come all the way uh, from north of Holland for us to give us some special treats. Look at this. Right? It's not going in the feed bag, that is. More for the boys after. And, uh, Peter, Pete, can you introduce, uh, introduce your clan? Ah, oh, we know him from last year. It's uh, Andres. He's a uh, yeah, he's a singer. Uh, this is Frankie P. Uh, this is my uh, fishing uh, hunting mate, uh, so up in Norway. Uh, but, but this guy is only drink beer. That's my brother. And, him, uh, and, and this guy I know from uh, from the soccer, from the football up, uh, up north. So like, yeah, it's a small deal. <laughs> the old wind. Wind Dog Fan Club. <laughs> what else have they got? Newspaper article, Pete. Yeah, this is uh, the story what uh, we uh, we were talking about last year. And uh, yeah, you were still <laughs> you, you were, were in you shape. Were, you, you were in quite good shape over there. <laughs> so, and you got a bit of a gut roll as well, there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's because I was two weeks on the same diet like you. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, feeling good. Um, that's right, last year was obviously a pretty special day. Uh, to win in Liège, and I guess uh, it's only 12 months later when you get back to a race like this, you realise a little bit more the significance of a win like that, um, the, just with the build-up to the race, and I guess, uh, you know, being the defending champion, probably talked about a little bit more into the race, so um, it's great to be back here again. And your lucky charms, all your mates from last year, what's happened? Oh, I know my mates from Australia, no, they didn't come over this year, but I think last year they picked a a good one to come over, um, but I think uh, I think you got another lucky lucky charm up your sleeve for us having you, James. Never fails. Are you going there, Chopper? Feeling up for the last time I'm going to eat today and watch some of this stuff. And what's it the sun is inside the bus? It's just I don't want the fans to recognise me. Uh, when I when I go out the bus, I'm I'm really swamped, so it's a bit of a decoy so that uh, you get to the start line on time. Just here in uh, at the start of Liège, we're just talking about the, the history of Liège and a couple of things have happened here. And uh, actually, it's been quite a while since the Clemens uh, won here in, in Liège. I don't know how long it's been. Yeah, the last Colombian I think won 100 two years ago. How long has the sure. has been going for 100 years? Ah, it's true. <laughs> so no winners, mate. No, no, for Colombia, there's no no winners in in Belgium races. I think. Yeah. Um, Until today. Maybe today, what, no? Why what, not? What's with the fashion on this team? They all wear sunnies inside the bus. And what's with your hair and the hat, mate? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you appreciate it. It looks like it's a like newspaper salesman from the 30s. <laughs> you appreciate it, man. Oh, well. New, new style. Look, looking good, or? Uh, yeah, it's different. Okay. It's important. <laughs> Well, the leaders are here in the race. There's a breakaway of uh, a few guys. There's a big breakaway. They have five minutes. This is my brother who's giving bottles for uh, Garmin. But we have an advantage. We have the um, customized electrical tape or whatever you call it. Yeah. And they only have the elastics. going out. Esteban, 55 seconds. Five, five seconds to Esteban's group. Muy bien, Esteban. Muy bien. We have people with bottles on the next three climbs. 
Four bottles for the Hawks. Okay. Are we okay? Are we okay? I saw Nibali in the crash. There's someone's Daryl's uh Yates up and away. He was looking around and he didn't I saw Yates was the last one, he was caught in it for sure. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Who was that? Gero. Gero. Okay, Daryl and I are down. Daryl and him are both down. Frank Schleck involved. Simon Garen's involved as well. Quite a few of the big favourites taken out here. Couple of riders from Lotto and El Yumbo. The only World Tour team without a win this year. More bad luck follows them around. 96 looks like Jose Serpa Perez. How's, hey, how's the elbows and stuff? Okay, good. All right, good, good you're not hurt. Yeah, thanks. And Simon Gerns, we see him, he moved, he moved away from that crash, points a bit down. So, Joaquim Rodriguez, is he still there? Oh, he's had another crash. Another crash, and this time, it's another problem for Orica Green Edge. Simon Gerns, yet again on the ground. We well, can't buy a bit of luck, this man, this year. He's had a broken shoulder, he's had a broken elbow. And he's on the ground for a second time in about five minutes. And how did that happen? I asked myself the question because he did say to the car, you know, it's pretty much over. Did he get pushed over by cars coming by? I'd not be surprised if it was the case because uh, Geron's a no experienced rider. I'd be surprised if he crashed uh, of his own mistake. I would say it could be in the car or motorbike that clipped him. No way. Gero crashed again after we talked to him. No. No, crap it. Well, they said he saw it on television. They were repeating it probably. Was he in the town? Was he in the town sitting on the side of the road? He now still there for Sky and Norfolk and who was better than all that one? Well. Yeah, they're probably now. Oh, they come back. Pete's back. Back yourself, Pete. Oh, yeah. Come on, Pete. Have a go, Pete. Have a go if you can. And final dot to the line. 100 metres to go. It's Valverde through the centre. Rodriguez on the right hand side. Valverde. Ala Felipe is there. And here comes Ala Felipe. But it's got to be Valverde. Alejandro Valverde wins Liege Baston Liege for a third time. Good ride, Pete. Good ride, Pete. Good ride, boys. And you, boys. Yeah, in the final it was just like a survival of the fittest. Yeah, so in the end it was not a perfect day for the team, but yeah, we tried to make the best out of it and yeah, every year is not the same, so yeah. Ah, at least we had uh, the first uh, two Arden uh, classics we had, we made good results, so I think we still can look back on a good Arden uh, campaign. Um, well, I guess we've seen um, really the highs and lows of the ASB on the Asian in the past couple of years. Uh, the day went perfectly last year and then this year it was all unfolding really well up until about the 200 kilometer mark and then it really went pear shaped for us when Daryl and I got caught up in a, in a big crash. Through no real fault of our own guys just crashed all the way around us and we had nowhere to go and uh, the day kind of went pear shaped from then on. I actually got on a spare bike which had uh, some brand new tyres on it that were really slippery and I fell off again like 3k later so yeah my day went from bad to worse uh, pretty quickly. And then, uh, you know, I've lost a bit of skin, but uh, nothing broken, so nothing too serious. So hopefully I'll bounce back pretty well for Romandy in the next couple of days. I'm okay. A uh, few, few aches and bruises, but uh, we crashed pretty fast. But uh, I think we came off pretty lightly compared to where it could have been. But uh, I was a bit, bit of a bad one that we lost Gera and Amy. And, you know, we lost a couple of the guys on the team stopping and waiting. but. That's sport, and you know, last year we were on the top and nothing went wrong, so. Um, yeah, good luck for the Giro. Yeah, a lot of emotion there in the final part of the, the uh, Liege today. Unfortunately, some of it was involved in crashes. Uh, we gave uh, Peter was up there in the final, but unfortunately, the ambience in the team car wasn't the same as last year, but anyway, we give it a shot. Well, look, uh, Peter, like I said, Peter winning, very credible result, 14th place in, uh, in the race today. 
and our two and our two boys who beat the dust, uh, Gero and uh, Dale Limpy, they're okay. They're okay, and they're going to live to fight another day. And uh, what that day is next is uh, Gero and crew are on with, off with Stevo to Romandy in the final preparation to try to get ready for the Giro d'Italia. That starts with a team time trial in Switzerland on Tuesday, and then we're off to another lap of Italy where we hope we can emulate the fine performances we had last year and try to take that uh, leader's jersey very early on in the race.